I've um, plenty of customers who actually have a fossil fuel background. They all say at the moment uh, that their customers ask them for renewable energy solution, not only solar, also wind. Uh, for them it's very difficult to sign contracts at the moment that are purely fossil fuel. So I think that there will be a steady change toward renewable energy that also fossil fuel companies integrate renewable energy solutions into their portfolio. Uh, we see that um, with many oil companies, for example, who actively invest at the moment in uh, renewable energy players. The uh, fossil fuel guys have the money which uh, the renewable energy sector needs. Actually, yes, I think so. Um, we have to involve them. Uh, that makes uh, things much easier. Um, I have to say that uh, something like uh, five, six years ago, I would have said uh, they are the enemies. At the moment, I think uh, they can be friends, at least the ones that really want to go renewable, want to go green. Of course, there are some uh, who are not as, uh, as quickly as uh, others. There are different speeds of um, fossil fuel companies. For some, it's just uh, communication and some CSR activity, and others really believe in a green future. That's a good question. Um, we have seen many golds and as prices of renewables are coming down, uh, some of these uh, golds that uh, were set by politics um, actually were exceeded uh, by the dynamics of the market. Um, so I have to say that I more believe in the market than in uh, golds coming from politics. In, in other markets we do, where we do not have grids, I see strong advantages uh, for off-grid and for not extending the uh, existing grid into areas that uh, have not been grid connected before. However, um, where you already have grids and if these grids are working uh, well, um, I think there are so many advantages uh, of grids um, that there might be examples uh, where um, certain off-takers want to isolate um, their generation or also their consumption uh, of the grid, but uh, I do not see this as a general tendency. It's more for developing countries or as well areas in uh, northern Canada, in, um, in Western Australia, uh, where you have uh, long distances and where grid extension would be very expensive but for example grid has also a kind of uh, storage uh, functionality so uh, to build up this um, with uh, battery storage would be pretty expensive so if you have um, different consumption patterns I think uh, the grid ha still has quite some advantages in comparison to uh, off-grid solutions.